Okay, guys. Today I'm going to explain to you guys why you should keep your house clean. Okay? Okay. So, got to go back a little bit in time now. We got yourself months ago. I kept waking up with a spider bite. Like one spider bite. And it generally was on my ass. And I don't know why this spider liked to bite my butt so much. It was like the most tender part of my body or something. But it would crawl up through pajama pants. Boom. Either that or it could bite me through my pajama pants, but I doubt it. I don't know how I kept getting these spider bites. Sometimes they'd be on my leg, like down here. That's why I represent the spiders. I try to fend them away with my spider pants. See that? Got spider pants going. And bing, bang, boom. No more spider bites. Psych, I think what happened was the spider died. Because let me take you upstairs. Today's the cleaning video. First thing I did that stopped the spider bite onslaught to where I don't wake up with a spider bite every night is I took my curtains down. Boom. I sleep right over here where all those clothes are. And I took my curtains down. Second thing I did is I emptied out my closet. I emptied out my closet. And back there, that very corner, back there, I found a huge ass spider web all up on these clothes somewhere. I think it was this clothing right here. Had that there. Let me see if I can get it right there. Right there, I had that uh, spider web all up on it. I found the dead spider. There's the culprit, motherfucker. And let me tell you, that's why you should keep your house clean, because. Oh, let me get this bad boy up in the trash now. You trash, boy. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's gone. So that's why you should keep your house clean because you won't get your spider bites up on your ass when you wake up. And sometimes it'll be on my thigh, sometimes on my leg. But these pants, mm, while they might be sexy as a motherfucker, and they'll be even sexier once I get my... uh legs all ripped instead of all fatty like they are now nothing but fat look at this nothing but fat just a fatty but once i get them going my legs these pants be looking nice but what they don't do is ward away spider bites actually they might i don't know i didn't try spandex or leggings so they might have warded away the spider bites maybe the spider wouldn't be able to bite through the spandex maybe i would have gotten like spider bites on my chest and shit but it was always pajamas, like loose pajamas. That spider would work its way up in there while I was asleep, bite my ass, and then work its way out. I know that sounds stupid, but it's true. And now that I clean shit up, so I watched this show on Netflix, right? It's called Tidying Up with Marie somebody. And it's like this uh, Japanese lady who goes and shows people how to tidy stuff up. And this is what she says. I always did this anyway. I always put all my clothes right here in a big pile. But she said, your clothes, your books, your paperwork, anything you're trying to consolidate, put in a big pile, figure out what you like and what you don't like, and then donate the rest. And damn if I'm going to have so much of this. Look at all this. Bum, 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 bum. Too much. Too much clothes. Too much. That's why you should tidy your house up. And why you shouldn't have a damn closet in your bedroom. Closets in the bedroom equal spider bites.